Welcome guys to another video of Summoner's War Chronicles. In today's video we're going to do a video that's long overdue. We're going to be taking a look at Galleon, the water pirate captain. So if you are interested to know why everybody's using him and why he's so OP, make sure that you uh, watch this video. Alright guys, so welcome to the pirate captain review so this is a video that i meant to make a while ago but i just haven't sorry about that so this is galleon he is the water pirate captain i'm sure if you played sky arena you know who he is and you know what he does and you know that he was one of the best monsters in summoners war sky arena for a very long time until he kind of got pushed out but i think he's still very good I don't play that game anymore so I don't know but this is my galleon he's an awakened nine I did use a lot of the uh, shards that I bought for his skill ups I think like five so that's 50 pieces that can potentially take him up to 14 I think eventually I will reset him but for now this is what he has he has 2k attack, 5k defense, 52k HP, crit rate doesn't matter, crit damage doesn't matter, accuracy you could have it at 100 if you wanted to, but 78 is pretty good for me, precision, decent, resistance non-existent, you could probably put a lot more resistance if you want, you could put a lot more HP if you want, and evasion 100%, so the reason why my galleon stats are this way is because I do have him on defense, defense, defense. I'm still trying to transition him into full 6 star runes at the moment, but for now he's pretty good. I was kind of just going for the 100% evasion or else he would probably have a lot more HP. But I did want to make him really tough to kill so I did make him with a lot of defense and HP. And I could probably use a lot more resistance but 100% evasion kind of covers that a little bit. So his skills. Basically, first skill does nothing. Second skill, Pirate Strike, it does a sword and a kick to basically inflict rest down for 20 seconds. This just makes it you can land debuffs easier. And his third skill, which is the skill that everybody uses him for, is time to loot. It increases your attack and it gives the enemy defense down as well as it decreases cooldown for nearby TM members and your summoner. You cannot decrease the cooldown of this skill because it's already pretty short and that would be pretty broken. So let's um, take a look. All right, so let's take a look at his basic skill. Okay, run back, buddy. There you go. Let's see, can we uh, somehow get this better? Hmm, not really. So, this is his, uh, or can I do this? No, it still looks the same. Well, I guess this is a pretty good view right here. So that's his first skill. You could put a lot of speed on him and he would just swing his sword really fast. It'd probably look pretty cool, to be honest. He, uh, I don't have him room for damage, so obviously he's gonna do a lot of damage. The sword and the kick. Sword and the kick. Pretty cool. And then time to loot. You see that huge range for time to loot? That's a... Uh, can I get more of an aerial view? I guess this works. So, time to loot. Defense break and attack buff for your teammates. It is an AoE. And he is a uh, tank, so he will run up to the enemy and do time to loot. Which, as you can see, defense breaks everybody and then your unit can just run up and kill them all. So that's basically how people are using Galleon. However, they usually use Orbia instead of Kina. Sadly, my Orbia is not built at the moment, so I can't really use her. So that's um, basically what Galleon does. Those were his skills. Let's see if we can uh, get in trouble in Arena real quick. So let's refresh this. Why not? Galleon it's pretty much everywhere you kind of want to use him with Orvia like I said just because she will nuke the enemy team down as soon as he does time to loot which is pretty crazy which is why I prefer not to fight Galleons with Orvias because you're just asking for a bad time 
Let's do this one. Oh, the power is kind of really bad. All right, so here we go. So basically, his skill is really cheap, and you just want him to run up and do time to loot. They just got immunity because the chick died. So or invincibility. So basically, you just spam time to loot, and the team just kind of uh, evaporates by itself. And that's why you want to make Galleon hard to kill, because you saw right there he ran straight to them, and they were uh, they were going in on him pretty well or pretty good. Let's uh, Wusa is a really good counter to uh, Galleon because he does immunity, immunity and cleanse are pretty good counter to Galleon. If he can't land a defense break, then you're pretty much good. Let's see if we can take on this Cliff, because I think she gives immunity as well. So, defense break, and you see him just evaporate. Same with the rest of them. They got defense broken by Galleon, we got attack buff, and they pretty much just disappear. So we got that. Let's see if we can um, find ourselves a nice RTA match. Uh, okay, so I'm doing okay this season. Probably going to lose this one. Ooh, Orbia. We have to pick the Galleon. Oh, thank God. Okay. Taylor and Renha. Oh, this. Ooh, full water. Should I just pick her? I don't really like her anymore, though. I've been thinking of resetting her. And maybe putting all her skill ups into her. I like her a lot better. But let's uh let's go with Camila. Ooh. This is kinda weird. It's been him. Okay, that that works. Um Hmm. Alright, let's see if we can uh somehow pull this off. Cause she is gonna go after my galleon. And the AoEs from Orbia are just literally insane. So, Teor, Galleon died. Let's revive him real quick. Time to loot. Let's go off to this Orbia. Can you target Orbia to Sarion? Let's do that. There you go. And then now. Tion, or not Tion, whatever his name is. Ooh, they're all dead. Either way. Oh, wait. I can kill her. So, that wasn't a very good showcase for Galleon, but you could see that he uh, landed his defense breaks and allowed Tessarion to basically go in on them. That was a pretty close match, though. Okay, so we got a Kina. Let's see if we can uh, get ourselves a win. Okay. Let's see this guy. Alright, so where are you going to pick a friend? Please ban her. Please. Aw. Oh, well, that's pretty good, actually. Let's see uh, if his heal spam is going to work out. Let's take her out first. So, Galleon, time to loot. And boom. Ooh. Go after Kina, please. What are you doing? Xion Fei. Go after Kina. Let's heal. And we won. So these aren't great matches with Galleon, but he is doing what he has to do. I mean, he's allowing us to do damage by just giving us the defense break and attack up. Alright, so I am pretty high up there. So the chances of me getting a good match for Galleon are pretty much non-existent. Um, this is my current battle record. I've lost to this guy and this guy. The rest have been victories, and I think one guy gave up. So, I don't really like playing RTA that much. And, yeah. 
So, as you could see, hopefully at least, that Galleon is pretty strong unit. I mean, anything that runs up to you and defense breaks your whole team and gives his whole team an attack buff and decreases their cooldown is pretty strong, especially because this skill only costs 3 mana. In the future, I do foresee him getting a small nerf. Maybe this skill will cost 1 mana more. But uh, I think he would still be a really great unit as long as they don't take away the defense break and attack buff here. And yeah, so that's um, that's Galleon for you guys. If you uh, he is in the uh, arena store, so for global at least for us, it's um somebody else now. But for for an A, it's somebody else. For global, it should still be Galleon. So if you don't have Galleon or if you haven't been buying the pieces for Galleon, make sure you do that. If you want a free tip on how you can get a lot of points from Arena, just um, set your defense to something that's literally easy to beat. And then you'll just have a bunch of guys who are somewhat easy to beat. Uh, let's do this, this, and you can just uh, quick battle them. And that way you can just scroll through and quick battle everybody, which is usually what I do. And you get a lot of points. This is how you uh, basically farm points in this game. See, a lot of people do that same thing. And you can just accumulate a lot of points and keep pretty high ranking, I would say. I mean, my previous week ranking is was still a master one. I didn't really even fight on the last day and I didn't try to push up. And this is just how it ended so i mean you can farm points and still get a decent rank and that will help you get more galleon pieces if you are in the na server and you didn't get galleon then i am sorry you missed uh probably one of the best units in the game if not the best pvp tank in the game and yeah so i hope you guys or actually i know a lot of you guys were uh wondering what my kina looks like so this is my Kina. She doesn't have great gear because I don't really like doing raids. She just kind of has whatever gear. I am planning to do a, I am planning to do a lot of raids soon, just because I do have 33 raid tickets to get through, and hopefully I can uh, get a light hammer because my RNG on the light hammer is uh, really bad, like really bad. Also the. Uh, the stat rolls on my gear is pretty bad. You can see right there. Two grays, not great. And yeah, so all my gear kind of needs replacing for Kina. But I am building her on a damage dealer build. She has okay attack, okay defense. Pretty low HP to be honest. I wish I could get more HP. Her crit rate is pretty nice. Although this is... I want to replace this for a crit damage necklace. Since I feel like this is kind of wasting a slot right now. Because I could get a crit rate or oh, crit damage necklace with really nice crit rate and put that instead of you know using a crit rate necklace and um probably have more crit damage. Maybe I wouldn't have a hundred percent crit rate, but that's fine. Crit damage is 150, accuracy and resistance both at 40, resistance almost at 50, precision is decent, and evasion is at 50. So this is my Kina, nothing crazy, definitely doable. I mean, I know a lot of summoners who have 200 plus power, which is, I think is insane, but it's doable. And yeah, so I mean, if my Kina can do damage with Galleon, if you have an Orbia or uh, even a Cliff, Cliff does a lot of damage as well. You can use them with Galleon and, you know, beat people up. So... That's pretty much it for this uh, Galleon review. If you did enjoy the video, make sure you leave a comment, a like, and subscribe.